In today's video, we are taking a look at four new internet myths to see if they really work or if we can debunk them. Nate. Callie. Blossom came out with another video. Mmm. Yeah. Delightful. Here's the fun part about this video, and something that you might have noticed with a lot of these videos in the past, anytime you're flipping through YouTube or Facebook and you see these science life hacks videos, they actually put some short clips of things that you can do that are real. The problem is, is that you might try some of these and some work and some are spectacular failures. That is super, super frustrating because some of these are sound science, some of them are just not real, guys. So we kind of want to take a look at some of the ones we've seen today that are somewhat possible, but don't have the results that they say they do. The best lies have an element of truth in them, and we're gonna see if we can figure out what part of these videos are the truth and what part is the lie. Here's the basic idea. We've seen another YouTube video that has a lot of science hacks for you to try. So we're gonna take a look at a few of them and see if we can debunk them. So to start out with in this video, uh, we saw everything from things that we've done. Hydrophobic sand, you made an entire video on that. So in this video, there were even some small portions that you've seen us do here on this channel. They showed hydrophobic sand. Nate has proven that that works. They've shown how you can dissolve the outside of an egg and end up with a rubber egg. I've shown you that on this channel. So we do know that some of these are real, some of them a little bit harder to believe. What's right. first on our list? I like, I like the look of this over here. This was your idea here. All right. What is going on? This is the only element that is not part of the Blossom video that Nate was very excited about. There's eggs, Skittles, and Sprite. I don't see a correlation. I had multiple people send me a video. It's a clip where someone takes an egg, they put it in a dish, they cover it in Sprite, they add like seven red Skittles and then they cover it, they say for 24 hours and then they open it up. The egg has turned completely translucent. It's very, very squishy except the yolk is a little bit small and yeah. it's red. Bright red. The presumption is that it took the color from the Skittles and that attached to the yolk and that the Sprite itself is what caused this transformation. By dissolving the outside of the eggshell without getting into the egg white and adhering to the egg yolk itself and then didn't they take it out and squish it? It was very hands? squishy. Yeah. Yes, very, very squishy. And, and I mean the yolk was completely like water clear almost. It wasn't like the translucent when you soak it in vinegar. So we're gonna try that. We're gonna get a bowl, add an egg, add some Sprite, add seven red Skittles. Exactly seven we saw. And then we're just gonna let it run overnight and see if we get that magic effect that they did of a very translucent squishy egg with a red center. One egg. There you go. One Sprite. One Sprite. Seven red Skittles. All right. All right. There's our egg. Ready for this? Add some red Skittles. Oh, I can already see it changing. Woohoo! Oh, wait, I'm not looking. They covered it. Perfect. All right, now I'm just gonna set this to the side and we'll take a look at it tomorrow. For a lot of our projects today, we are gonna have to leave some stuff either for a day or two days, but there is one that we can do in under 10 minutes. They showed that you can take a bottle of water and set it in a bowl full of rock salt and ice. And in five minutes, you should be able to take it out. It should be super chilled. You should be able to pour it into a glass take a grape, dip that grape into the glass, and it nearly freezes it into an almost solid block of ice around the grape after five minutes. One was with grapes and one was just the water bottle. They put it in for five minutes again, smacked it on the counter, and the whole thing froze. Now, obviously that can happen when yes. water is super chilled. It has no nucleation sites as long as it like stays really still as it's cooling down. I'm kind of curious how they pulled that off because when you pour it, that usually sets it off. So I don't know how they managed to pour it into a cup and then dip the grape down in. But we can try it. Let's find out. All right, so some ice, bottle, yep. some more ice. Before more ice, you gotta put some salt. salt. Yeah, I got some salt. Sprinkling, yeah, there's lots of rock salt in this. All right, we've got it all set up. We good? I think we're good. Start a timer. All right, here we go. Five minutes. While our water is chilling off for another three minutes, we're gonna start setting up for the next one. The idea in this one is that you can take flowers, carnations specifically, uh, take some water to put them in, and then in that water drain several highlighters. And the ink should then be soaked up by the flowers, and you'll get these flowers that just really fluoresce under a black light. And in the video, like, the, the whole, whole flower, thing. all of the flowers were just like <laughs> glowing like a beacon. The stems were glowing, the flowers were glowing. It was really intense. Carnations are known for being able to drink up color. I think we'll actually set it up. You, you add some food coloring into your water, 
and the tops of the petals begin to change color. It's actually pretty cool. Usually takes about overnight, which I think yeah, is probably what they said hours. to do. Um, but what they showed, I think this is a great example of like, there is some truth to it, but there's also a lot of not truth. There's, there's some stuff that they're portraying as being real, but it's not. So we're gonna get some water. We'll try three just to really give it a good chance of working. And then we'll get some of these drinking up our highlighter fluid. So we were halfway through our flowers and our timer went off. So we are going to pull out our super chilled water. Try to do it very carefully, because if it's super chilled, I don't want to set it off. All right, but now you've got to pour it into this glass and I've got to- Feels like slightly cool water. It's okay, go ahead. So very carefully, yeah, you're gonna pour it into that glass and then I've got a grape, just like they did. It was a single grape on a stem. They just put it in and just for a few seconds and the whole thing froze. Go. All right, well, I'm gonna take it out now. <gasps> Gasp. And I'm just gonna take a drink of this super chilled water. It's kind of cold. This would be like if you took it out of the fridge 10 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Weird. There is a second experiment in this video that they took, like I said, just a regular water bottle, same thing, five minutes, took it out and smacked it on the counter, same thing, the instant ice reaction. So let's leave this one in for 10 minutes. Let's really give it a chance. So this was about refrigerator temperature. Yes. What if theirs was already in the refrigerator and before then they put they it put in, there. in? So let's, don't know. Yeah, let's give it 10, maybe even 12 minutes. All right, oh, 12, you're going crazy. <laughs> There is another section where they took one we even said they split apart the stem and they got multiple colors. We're just going to show you one color here to show you that yes, this does work, not exactly the way they were showing it. They also used roses for this portion of it, the color. Carnations, from what I've learned in research, they have a tendency to work faster. They are better at drinking up the color and so. So we're going to let these stay overnight as well and then we'll check on them in the morning. So I got a plate. You got a plate. Here's what the video shows. A broken plate is uh, taped back together with all the broken seams lined up just right. And then it's submerged in milk. It's for covered in milk days. for two days. Just didn't even move it, just left it there for all two right. days. Two days. And yep. the milk heals the plate. Yeah, it just puts it right back together. Yeah. yeah so we're gonna see it. if you can heal a plate using milk. Now, mm -hmm. we're actually not the first people to test this. Action, Action Lab, Lab tested this. Uh, he used a wrench to break his plate. We're gonna use pliers. That might make the difference. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> the tool that breaks the plate. That's what makes the difference. You never know. All right. Ooh, that's pretty good. Oh, and I think, uh, wow, that's, it's being held together by the sticker on the back. But yeah, we got, well, he got four pieces, we got four pieces. We're gonna do what they did exactly in the Blossom video. We are going to use red tape and only tape across a few key points, place it very gently in our pan and pour the milk on top. Perfect, that's exactly what they had. And our timer just went off for our water bottle. Perfect Set timing. Our plate to the side here. I think it's your turn to do the honors, take our bottle out. Give it a little I'm very excited. And... Here, you can have this. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, we ready? 12 minutes enough. That That is room over double bottle. what they had, so. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think we're gonna activate anything here. Let's right. set our milk aside for two days and see if our plate gets healed. So we are going to snap back to this in one day and we are going to check both our egg and our flowers and then we'll come back to the milk in two days and hope we haven't stunk up the studio with the fact that we're leaving a virtually just full pan of milk out on the counter. It doesn't say to refrigerate it or anything. For two days. <laughs> Seems like a bad plan. I didn't even get fat free. I wanted to make sure we went for the whole thing. I think the, the fat is gonna, gonna make it bind because it's gonna be the milk proteins combining with the fat that are gonna that are make the ceramic, uh, I can't. It's been 24 hours. It has been 24 hours. So our egg and our flour should technically be clear, transparent. With a red yolk. And glowing. So guys, this is kind of what we wanted to show you. These carnations, yes, carnations can suck up colors. So can roses. Carnations are better known for it. We added so much dye. Now in the video that we saw, they added maybe two, three drops of dye. 
Nate, how much did you put in here? Oh, like just so much. And probably much more than mm -hmm. was necessary. I just wanted to make sure we got a good result. And we did. It started turning up a different color after what, an hour? I a think little so, bit? yeah. We have the time lapse in here. It looks really cool on the time lapse. The ones in the highlighter ink don't really seem to change on, on time lapse, but the blue ones, that's a really cool time lapse. We also saw the flowers like drink up a little bit of water and so they opened a little bit more. And then yeah, these, these blue ones, or they're now blue, mm -hmm. it worked really well. I also do think it's interesting, the blue has not only shown up in the petals, <laughs> I a love little that. bit on the stems. You can see some blue dots. This one's actually very. Oh yeah. Look oh, at yeah. how. Look at that, you got several of them there. Yeah. Blue dot, blue dot, mm -hmm. blue dot. Now that does lend some credibility to the highlighter ink carnations because the highlighter ink almost looks like it is glowing. You know, it's, it's very, very bright. We squeezed three different highlighter pens into this. In the video, they only used one. They used one green one. One green we one. We used three yellow ones. We did, Because However, the yellow is a more pure fluorescein. That's the actual fluorescent material in it. So it really, really should work. So technically, all we should have to do is turn off the lights and these should just start glowing. They didn't say that they did anything else, but from what I saw, it looked like they were hitting it with a different light, yes. probably a black light. And now you can kind of see same thing that the other ones did and it's super pretty. They are glowing just on the very edges. Do you see that? This is also something that they showed in the video. Even the stems were glowing just a little bit. Here's what we dislike. In that video, it seemed like they just turned off the lights and these things just started glowing and they were so bright and it looked like lighting up, like something out of the Avatar movie. It was crazy. Even if you're assuming they used a black light, yeah, they glowed really, really bright and they had a lot more green than, like we're getting a lot of purple mm -hmm. light and that's just from our, our UV light here. Are you gonna try and recreate what they did? I have a theory. Oh no. I think they may have just coated their flowers. Hang on, I'm gonna shake it off ink. a little bit. It seems similar, like their flowers, even the stems were going so much brighter for them. But this, this feels a little bit almost more like what they had looked like. I wonder if they just drew on theirs with their highlighter. Oh my gosh, you know, not a bad idea. If you compare it to the blue ones, if you did a side by side, the same thing, the same edges start to suck up into the petals, but it's just, it's not what they were showing. It's, if you look at these, there's a massive difference. 24 hours, egg soaking in Sprite and red Skittles. It should be completely clear with a red yolk. And squishy. Okay, ready, go. Dang ah. it. Okay, wait, wait, okay, it did go clear. That's it's freaking yellow. awesome. Yellow, oh, it it's is. It's a yellow yolk. Wait, okay, so you're just sticking your, okay, well, the Skittles completely dissolved. Disappeared like magic. Gosh. Oh, I, wait. Oh, what? Wait, we're totally lying. Guys. This is a toy you can buy. <laughs> it's the same thing. This is the same thing that was in the video. It just has a yellow yolk, which is just a little piece of rubber inside. In the video, the yolk is the same size, this tiny little It's just one of these with a red yolk. ball. Now for the real reveal. Here's what actually happened. <gasps> That's a mess. Hey, an egg. It it has you a little bit of red Easter color egg. on the outside that wipes right off. For all we know, maybe there's a red yolk in here. Ready? Ready. We did! Yeah. There is a grain of truth to a lot of the videos you see on the internet, but things are exaggerated. You can't always believe what people can show you with camera tricks. Kind of gives you an idea. Can you replicate some of these things at home? Absolutely. Are you going to get the same results? No. Don't be disappointed. Do some research. You'll figure it out. I regret everything. That's gross. Like, not even fully liquid anymore. No, so, oh no, you've broken that like gross fatty layer. Guys, all right. have to get the right. plate out somehow. We left the plate for 48 hours on the counter in whole milk. We taped it together. It should be sealed. And this is not what it looks like in the video when it comes out, like. Maybe we were supposed to refrigerate it, but they didn't tell us that. Ah. Uh, Tape removes pretty easily after soaking in milk for a couple days. Rancid milk. All right, see if you can pick it up. It's holding together a little bit. What? Did it work? Mm. <laughs> All right, that makes more sense. Basically, like the sugar surface, surface yeah. tension. Yeah, it. I mean, it's held together more than before the milk, but 
usability. Okay, I could see why you could fool somebody for about 30 seconds with that. You pulled it out and it, it was like, huh, Look interesting. Look at that, I can shake it slightly and those pieces haven't even come apart. But then they do. But to be fair, I, think, I feel like water would do that. If you were to soak ceramic in water, same thing. Possible. All right, so Nate, soaking ceramic in milk, does it work? If you want your plate to stay together for two seconds of not using it, but I'm gonna say no, you can't repair ceramic with milk. Oh, uh, don't tip that. Also, don't, you know, leave your milk out on the counter for 48 hours, guys. Gross, it's so gross. I'm gonna resist away now. I'm gonna, yeah, we're done, we're done here. Guys, we've done a lot of debunking videos. You seem to like them. If there's anything else you want to see, let us know in the comments below. If you want to see our latest video, go ahead and click that box up at the top, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.